Hello and welcome to another Advanced Skeleton video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the new Connect Face Cap function, which is using some exciting new technologies. Uh, first of all, there's the new iPhone 10 that has a built in camera that is actually recording depth. This is the uh, true depth camera. Now, using the iPhone together with this application uh, available on the App Store called Face Cap. You can record your facial expressions in 3D and export as a uh, FBX file. So let's take a look how we can take a file from the FaceCap app and apply it to a advanced skeleton face rig. And for this demonstration, we'll uh, go ahead and choose one of the demo characters and we'll use the uh, chubby rig. So applying motion capture is recommended to do at the animation stage. And the recommendation for workflow is that in your animation files, you reference in your character. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and choose create reference and we'll browse to the advanced skeleton demo characters, which sits in the folder called example files under download. And let's choose chubby. So here's our chubby character. And next, we're going to bring in the FBX file. And to do so, we're going to make sure we got our FBX plugin loaded. And we'll go ahead and hit import. And as we zoom out, we'll see we have a uh, head here from the FBX file, which in this case is much larger than our character. So we'll go ahead and pick the top node, which you can find in Outliner. It's called the group scale. And we'll go ahead and just scale and place this to roughly match our character and then we'll move the head off slightly to the side for comparison look side by side between our imported fbx head animation and our character then the next thing we're gonna do is we open up the selector and under the anim menu we'll hit connect face cap and if we now hit play we'll see the animation also working on the advanced skeleton face rig And just for a fun test, we could go ahead and bring in some more of the demo characters. And again, just use the selector to connect these as well. So that is the uh, connect face cap function. Now there's one more uh, closely related function that I will also show you in this video. And, and that is the mocap matcher, which is for connecting motion capture to the body rig. So to show this first thing we're going to do is just create a new scene. And again, we'll reference in a uh, demo character. And this time let's choose the tuna character. Next, I'll just reopen the selector so that it refreshes the drop down list of available characters. So we'll get Tuna in our list here. Then we'll go ahead and open the mocap matcher interface. Now, this interface is for storing the relationship between two different skeletons, which is typically going to be your advanced skeleton rig compared to what's here listed as other, which will be the imported motion capture skeleton. So let's go ahead and import a motion capture file. And I have a FBX motion file here, which is one of the example motion files that comes with motion builder. Now, if we zoom out and have a look what was imported here, we'll see that the, uh, the motion capture skeleton is in fact much larger than our rig. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scale it down to roughly have the same size as our character rig. Now, another good idea when you are recording motion capture is that you start the motion clip with a T pose. That way you have a pose that will align well with your default rig, which is good to use for a point for connection. Now, this motion builder sample clip does not start with the character in a T pose. So we're going to manually add that to the beginning. So let's make that pose at frame zero. So we'll extend our range to start right at frame zero. And as we go to frame zero, we'll just select the limbs and zero out the rotations.
Then as we got the motion capture skeleton closely matching a T-pose in the beginning of the animation, then we'll just go to that first frame and run some of these functions. First, set the rig to all FK. Secondly, connect mocap skeleton. Oh, we got an error. That's because we haven't defined the name space of the motion capture skeleton, which goes in here under namespace. So we'll just select that skeleton and hit detect from selected. Now let's try again to hit connect mocap skeleton. And at this point we can hit play for the animation. And then if we are happy with that result, we'll go ahead and hit the bake button. Now that has now baked all the animation onto the actual controllers and we can go ahead and delete the imported motion capture skeleton. And we now have our advanced skeleton body rig with the animation on the controllers. And what you could do also at this point, if you wanted to start cleaning up the uh, feet animation to improve the ground contact is you can go ahead and uh, bake FK to IK which is done here under the anime menu on the bake. We'll go ahead and choose FK to IK for uh, the uh, left leg. And then the right leg. Now that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.